A Football Life is presented by Chase. I've seen trained monkeys, donkeys, elephants, big old tigers and lions. I said, you've never seen a trained jackrabbit. And I said, you're like a jackrabbit when you get the ball. You don't know where you're going. That's insane. That is. That's off the chart. He is driving them crazy. A cut that only few have ever been able to make. I've been away for a long time. I haven't made this drive in years. Every time I made this drive, I got to see my dad. This is my roots. This is where my family first came here as slaves. And I guess I, I have a certain feeling, a certain aura that, that I have when I come here. Hi, Ladanian. How Hi. you doing? Good, Chris Tomlinson. All right, Chris Tomlinson. Yeah, it's good to meet you. Nice to meet you. As you can tell, we have the same name. Yes. <laughs> Our families have been kind of connected since the founding of this hill. In 1859, my great-great-grandfather, James Kendrick Tomlinson, came from Alabama. Mm. And he brought with him 50 slaves to start a cotton plantation here on the Brazos. Mm. And uh, our families have been together ever since then. Ladanian Tomlinson's father was the last named Tomlinson to live in Tomlinson Hill. He grew up in this house and returned there after divorcing Ladanian's mom. When Ladanian was four years old, Sundays were spent watching football with dad. What he used to do all the time to make sure I paid attention and to kind of quiz me on the rules and what's going on in football, he would leave the room, you know, for about 10 minutes at a time sometimes and come back and ask me what happened. The Danian would often recount the actions of a certain running back. You had this guy, Walter Payton, very tough, physical, but also had the movement and wasn't a very big guy. I wasn't a very big guy. Once Walter retired, Emick took over that role, being the running back that I, I looked up to and I followed. When he was 13, he had his heart set on attending a Cowboys football camp. Right away, Mom said, boy, you know, Ladane, I don't know about this. You know, you're going to have to stay in dorms. You're going to be gone for three days or whatnot. And look how much money it costs. I said, Mom, I, I need this. This is what I've been waiting for. Ladanian is one of those rare kids that he doesn't ask for anything. And so when you look at him asking, and he's so joyful about it, you're going to work every way possible to do whatever you can to get that dream for him. I remember I wanted to go. You know, of course, I you know, want to do everything he did, you know, but you know, he got to go. During a handoff drill, a surprise visitor made an appearance. Emmett Smith just jumps in the line and happens to be handing the ball off to me. Out of all the kids that's in the line, he happened to be handing the ball off to me. I remember the kids were going crazy. I mean, we was fighting. They was trying to get in front of me so they could take a handoff from Emmett. And I was like, no, this is my spot. You know, I'm taking the handoff. Later on that day, I'm leaving the dorm room to go upstairs. Emmett Smith is coming down the stairs, and he almost runs me over. Holds me up, keeps me from falling. Kids, you all right? Oh, yes, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm great. I said, hey, kid, you know, you got some talent, you got some speed, keep working hard. And I was like, yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. He was one of those kids that you just could not ignore. He was one of those kids that you sit back and like, wow, man, this boy here, you keep it up. You're going to be something someday. That experience alone 
changed my life because it gave me confidence in myself. It gave me belief. Ladanian would not get a chance to start at running back for his high school until his senior year. But before the season arrived, his mom announced they were moving two hours away. Mom, no way, you can't do this to me right now, Mom. I said, I said, Mom, if I want to have a chance to go to college, I need to stay at this high school. This is my best chance to show people what I can do, to show the scouts what I can do. He begged me, because I, I was all set to take him with. I, there was no way I was leaving him behind. I looked at him, and I go, you know what? This kid has never, ever, ever caused me any problems. So I said, okay, Dan. I said, okay, but I'll be down for every football game. He said, I know, and he hugged me. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ladanian stayed behind and lived with the family of one of his teammates. In his first game starting at running back for University High, he scored six touchdowns. He didn't have a, a whole lot of teams that was recruiting him. Well, he's not quite the size that we're looking for. Well, you know, he doesn't quite have that 40 time that we're looking for. On the field, Ladanian refused to be brought down. But off of it, he stumbled. I said, Ladanian, you've been drinking. And he just... <gasps> And he just started crying, just boo, and you could hear him just big tears, just crying. I'm so sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said, Do I need to come and get you? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Say, okay. You know, strike one. I never had. I never went to strike two. A few days later, she received a letter. Here it is, right here. I cry every time I read this letter because it still means so much to me. Hello, Mom. How are you doing? Mom, I love you so much that every time I say it or write it, it brings tears to my eyes. One day you will be the proudest mom in the world. Because I'm going to go to college and graduate. And if God is willing, go on to play pro football and be the best person I can. Because that's how you raised me. Mom, I thank you so much for everything you have and still doing for me. Because it is hard not having a father who I can talk to and get advice from. You did the very best. Sorry, so sloppy. Keep crying. Love you, Daniel. <laughs> Coming up, Ladanian signs with one of the few schools to offer him a scholarship and has a day no Division I running back has ever had. Together, we make the game safer from the ground up. By making sure the fit of the equipment is every bit as good as the equipment. By making proper tackling the goal from the very first snap. And by making certification more important than any win-loss record. We make the game safer because to us, it's so much more than just a game. Make sure your coach is heads up certified today. Go to usafootball.com. Together, we make football. Every week in the NFL is its own epic saga. Let's go! The preparation. The stories. Her defense is a concern. The names. And it all starts with Thursday night. It's our night! Let's go! now he is gone that's where you win or lose football games right there who's got it better than us thursday night football 13 games more of what you love So the main house was up here, 
and then all the cotton farming was done in the river bottoms. So up here is where the slaves lived. And this structure right over here, I'm pretty sure was one of the slave quarters. Ooh. It was clearly built before the Civil War and almost certainly was built by your ancestors. How do you know? Based on the workmanship, uh -huh. the way they used wooden pegs, the dovetailing in the joints, and this is one of the last buildings of this age that still stands in Falls County, and it's on Tomlinson Hill. Hmm. Uh, wow. Ladanian's father worked in construction too, as a roofer. An on-the-job accident left him physically injured and emotionally broken. He didn't play with me as much, didn't hang out and do the tea party thing with me no more. I would hear him and mom kind of arguing more. He just wasn't the same anymore. A big part of that was pain medication and then, you know, you move from that on to something else. He started to distance himself from the family and so I saw him less and less. You know, when I think back now, maybe it was a way of my father you know, hiding some things and not wanting, you know, me to see certain things that he was going through. Ladanian's father made a surprise appearance to see him play during his junior season at Texas Christian University. I just remember thinking, I'm gonna impress him so much that he wanted to come back and see me play again and again and again. Ladanian had 75 rushing yards, one of his worst games of the season. I remember him being in tears afterwards and we'd won the game and he had had a pretty good game. I'm talking to him trying to figure out what's wrong and he said, you know, coach, I just wanted to play so well today because this is the only time my dad's ever got to see me play a game. The next week, Ladanian would have the attention of the entire country. And they'll give it to him again on a draw play. With records on the line, I hand it to him, and a hold it. 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, TCU. 38 carries, 379 yards, and six touchdowns. All I remember is Coach grabbed me. He said, you know, you need like four yards to get the national record. And I was like, what? And he was like, yeah. Do you want to get it? I said, Coach, that's, that's not important to me. We got the win. He said, no, you go get it. Here's the handoff. Here's Ladania. Breaks left. Has the yardage down to the 20, maybe the 19. And that should be a record-setting carry for Ladania Tomlinson. But it put me at like, I don't know, like 398 or something. It was like, you're about to get 400 yards. No one has ever done that before. Give it to him again. <laughs> TCU went 1-10 when Tomlinson was a freshman. His senior year, they finished 10-2. Tomlinson ran for over 2,000 yards and was named a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. I know you have something in common with one of the other finalists here this evening. It was funny because me and Drew Brees playing on the same uh, all-star team in high school. One play he threw an awful pass to me and I had to make a, I had to make an uh, acrobatic catch. And the rest is history. Now you got the great hands. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. Well you got to thank Drew for that. It was at that moment in New York where we said wouldn't that be something if we played a high school all-star game together. Here we are at the Heisman together if we play in the NFL together. Sure enough, a few months later, LT goes in the first round, I go in the second round at the San Diego Chargers, and the Chargers w were 1-15 the year before. We made a pact to each other that we will bring a championship to San Diego. Tomlinson's first NFL quarterback would not be Drew Brees, but Doug Flutie, who played with Tomlinson's boyhood idol, Walter Payton. 
He really reminded me day one of Walter Payton. He had the ability to throw the football, which Walter could do. His ability to run routes and catch the ball. Third down pass protections, he knew what was going on. His work ethic. I have a visual in my mind of Walter running that hill with the rules, headband on. When I built my house in San Diego, I built a hill in the backyard. Tomlinson was intent on taking the Chargers to the top. When Drew Brees took over as quarterback, that goal appeared in reach. In 2003, Tomlinson became the first player to rush for 1,000 yards and catch 100 passes. In 2004, the Chargers won their first division title in a decade. By the time we got to 2005, I think we all felt like we were right there on the cusp. In the final game of the season, Breeze tore his shoulder. A contract dispute followed, and Breeze never played for the Chargers again. That dream that we had established together in 2001 was gone. I was hurt, confused, but I knew we had a young first-round quarterback in Phillip Rivers. Coming up, the Chargers change quarterbacks, and Tomlinson rewrites the record book. Own NFL, a football life season two today on DVD. Hey, what are you doing today? I'm backing up the computer. Photos, work files, you name it. Lovely. See you in a few hours. Hmm. Did you get everything backed up? Took care of it. For just $59.99 a year, Carbonite backs up your irreplaceable files automatically, so you don't have to. Try it for free at Carbonite.com. I used to drink energy shots to get me through the day. I had two problems. They taste bitter and they're expensive. Then I found Energize. Energize isn't a drink. It's a time-release energy tablet, so there's no bitter taste. Two Energize tablets in the morning gives you all-day energy with no jitters and no crash. And every Energize box gives you more energy than 14 energy shots. All-day energy, no bitter taste, half the cost. Energize. You can get Energize at these fine stores and discount super centers nationwide. For a $2 off coupon, visit TryEnergize.com. That's TryEnergize.com. At TCU, Ladanian Tomlinson won the hearts of college football fans everywhere. But he was focused on a certain classmate. I sent scouts out, you know. I'm, I play football, so we got scouts everywhere. And I quickly became aware that she was a Bill Gates Millennium Scholar. And I'm thinking she's smart, she's beautiful. Couldn't have been older than 18 or 19 when he first started talking about wanting a family and wanting kids, and I'm thinking to myself, He's obviously at a different place in his life than I am at mine. Come on. I love you, Torsh. In 2003, Ladanian and Latorsha married. Two years later, they were expecting their first child. My wife kept on saying that she hadn't felt the baby move. Get to the hospital, get in the room, and they put the machine on her, and sure enough, no baby's heartbeat, you know, baby is, is, is dead. I was naive to it. I, I never thought this could happen. At the same time, Ladanian worried about losing his ailing father. He lived in an old shack. The house was all beat up, but it was his mother's house, and my father didn't want to leave. I really wish he would move out here with me, he said, so I can take care of him. Ladanian couldn't be with his father, but in San Diego, he found a father figure in head coach Marty Schottenheimer. Right, wrong, or otherwise, you have favorites. Ladanian Tomlinson was a favorite for me. I loved him like he was my own. Marty would say, Ladanian, 
I need you not to be good today. I need you to be great. He said, power, football is what I want. We're going to wear people down, and you're going to be the guy to do it. Tomlinson began to resemble the player who inspired him at a football camp, Emmett Smith. Especially when it came to scoring touchdowns. How sweet it is. How sweet it is, huh? How sweet it is. When you got the ball inside the two-yard line, Everybody in the stands knew what you were going to do with it. You knew the LT chance were going to start, and he was going to get in there. In 2006, Tomlinson would win league MVP and challenge the single-season touchdown mark once held by Smith. Ladanian Tomlinson, Mr. Everything, is in today with 26 touchdowns. A record for one season is 28. I really didn't think that I was going to break it that day. With four minutes left, Tomlinson was one touchdown away from tying the record. Ladanian Tomlinson, one step closer to football immortality. All the guys were saying, let's get it. Let's get the record. Merriman dives on it at the seven-yard line, lights out. You've got the ball back at the seven. But hey, you've already seen the record tied. You've got a chance to see it broken right now. I said, guys, you know, we're going to all be old one day. When we look back on this clip, I don't want it to be about me. I want it to be about us. I was crying in the huddle just because I knew we were about to do something. I had tears in my eyes snapping. I was like, oh, God, don't mess this snap up. And I'm like, all right, LT, I said, get on my hip and don't dip. Let's go. We're going to score this touchdown. I'm like, this is going to be great. I get to lead LT in. I'm going to be on NFL Network. This is going to be great. The play is designed to go straight up the middle. I see the safety. I'm going to go blow this guy up. I trip. I fall. <laughs> so what did I do? I bounced it. I remember the offensive line. That's why you're the greatest. That's why you're the greatest. The joy they had picking him up, and just everybody felt a part in it. The great number 21, as humble as the day is long, celebrated with all of his teammates in the end zone. There was no spotlight dance. He pointed to the guys, pointed to the crowd. It wasn't about him. And that's why guys loved him. You did it! How many touchdowns he had that year? Was it 26? 31 touchdowns? 31 touchdowns in one season? It's a crazy number. The 14 and 2 Chargers had the best record in the NFL entering the playoffs. Tomlinson had 17 first half touches as the Chargers built an 11 point lead. In the second half, he had only eight. If we could go back in time, we'd have just ran the ball. Just probably 50, 60 times that game. Patriots have won the game. It is a shell-shocked crowd here as the sun sets in San Diego. The best team that I had ever been on, first round by, number one seed, done. They ran out to the middle of the field and started dancing. In fact, they started doing the Sean Merriman lights out dance. I felt like I need to make a statement for my team. I'm the captain, and I'm not going to let you dance on our field. Any incident where an opponent team come in and start dancing in the middle, I mean, we all know that's a sign of disrespect. Don't defile our symbol. We don't need that. And he was the point man, and he stood up for the team. I can't sit there and watch that. And so, yeah, I, w I was very upset. And just the fact of the way they showed no class at all, absolutely no class, and maybe it comes from a head coach. Tomlinson's anger would soon be redirected toward his own team. 
After the defeat, the Chargers fired Marty Schottenheimer. I was furious. The organization was changing this team and basically breaking the team apart. He was the right coach for us. He was what we needed at that time. One month after losing his biggest game and his most influential mentor, Tomlinson would suffer his most devastating loss yet. I remember getting a hold of Torsha and telling her to break the news to him because I knew he wouldn't take it well. She put the phone down and she said, your dad, you know, he, he was killed in a car accident. It was hard for me to deal with for a long time. I felt like I was just starting to get to know my father in my adult life. I never got the chance, I felt like, to, to say certain things that I wanted to say. And I felt like I had more time. And, you know, he was gone. Coming up, Tomlinson's abrupt goodbye to his football home. You'll love Choice Hotels, too, during the fall for Choice Hotels 30% off sale. Get 30% off our already low rates. Sale ends soon, only at choicehotels.com. Friday night, buddy, you are going to need a wingman. And my cash back keeps the party going. But my airline miles take it worldwide. It shouldn't be this hard. With creditcards.com, it's easy to search hundreds of cards and apply online. Creditcards.com. When emancipation came, um, James K. called all the slaves up to that main house, and that's where he announced that, you know, as of today, you are as free as me. And that was the end of slavery in Texas. So, in fact, it was done right about... Where that old tree is falling over there, that's about the point. Now. The Union troops told the former slaves, we don't want you leaving, this is where the jobs are, this is where the food is, you know, you need to stay here on this same plot of land, for, but from now on you're going to be paid. Hmm. James K. loaded up the former slaves on the wagon and then took them down to the county courthouse, and that's where the county clerk said, okay, what, what do you want to take as your last name? Oh, uh, okay. And that's how we got our last name, Tomlinson. And that's, and that's when you chose you take the name Tomlinson. Your family, your ancestors did. Wow. For years, Tomlinson had the most popular name in San Diego. LT, 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 LT. There has never been a greater charger. They were one of the two worst teams when he first got there, and then they became a team that perennially was in the playoffs. I don't know that people in San Diego can appreciate this young player enough. Absolutely one of the great talents that will ever play this game. And combine that with the charity things he did. This bear need a home. You see him after every single game take pictures and talk with the kids that were a part of his foundation. He was San Diego uh, when I I think of San Diego, I think of the beaches, and I think of the Daniel. I remember I would go to some football camps and he showed up. It, it was it was like, you know, Michael Jordan was there and it was the greatest thing ever. So Reggie. Uh, Reggie. I got a chance to work out with him. I thought that I was in shape and I was gonna be able to hang with him. I ended up throwing up in a workout. <laughs> it hit home for me and this is where I need to get to if I wanna make it to the NFL, if I wanna be one of the best. LT's always been, I'd say, a quiet leader. He lets his actions speak for themselves. But when something needs to be said, he says it and everybody listens. In 2007, the Chargers had a new head coach, Norv Turner. Norv Turner sold himself for the job by saying in part, if you want to win a championship, you've got to develop Phillip Rivers. It's a quarterback's league. And so LaDainian's role became diminished somewhat. 
In the 2007 playoffs, for the first time in his career, Tomlinson's importance to the Chargers was questioned. Somebody hit me right in, the, in my knee. And my knee buckled. I've never been hurt like this. Never had anything like this. Find out that I have a uh, MCL sprain. It's a four-week injury. Tomlinson was out. So was Philip Rivers with a torn ACL. Finishing the game with backups, the Chargers upset the Colts. I'm thinking the championship game is next week. I'm, I'm going to play. I, I'm absolutely going to play. There's no way that I'm not going to play. San Diego's opponent, an old nemesis, the 17-0 Patriots. They danced on your field. They disrespect. They, they guys get to the, to the football world. Yeah, you know what I mean? Both Rivers and Tomlinson started the game. But Tomlinson's day lasted just two drives. At that point, I knew Michael Turner is a better running back than me right now with this knee injury that I have. And so I decided to pull myself in. And of course, I took a lot of, a lot of heat for that. You're a big-time player, and big-time players must play in big-time games. I know a lot of people will get LT a pass and say, you know, we don't know what happened. But right now, as his teammates, as fans looking on, you got to come. You, it, it must be a surgery for him to get a pass on this one. Going into that game, Phillip had come off a of surgery, which no one at the time had announced, and the team had really not spoken much about LT's injury. Obviously, we don't want to give our opponent any kind of uh, information that could help them, which in retrospect didn't help LT's situation because when he tried to go and couldn't go, people were a little surprised by that. Internally, we weren't. People want to juxtapose his situation with that of Phillip Rivers. And they say, well, Philip Rivers had knee surgery the week of that game, and he played the entire game. How could LaDainian not do it? How could he not be on the field? I was in a position, I didn't have to make many cuts, you know, and I was going to be able to stand in that pocket and, and throw. And, and, and LT's game is based off cutting and running and all that. So two completely separate deals, and it was blown completely out of proportion. And people say, well, he was sulking. And maybe he was. But you have to understand how much it hurt him not being able to be out on that field. The following year, another postseason injury, another season-ending defeat. I can remember thinking that I was cursed or something. Like, it wasn't meant to be, to play in the playoffs and be healthy. I don't think anybody can, can know the frustration. All my life, all I ever wanted to do is play football and win a championship. And to feel so helpless, you know, to be at this point, well, we have a chance to do it, and again, I can't do anything about it. I can't play. The player most identified with San Diego's rise was now being discussed for his decline. He just hasn't been the same the last couple of years. I think after his injury, you know? It's unfortunate. I mean, he's such a good guy, a good player. He's still a beast, but he's just not you know, with the MVP. And, what do you have, like 50 touchdowns or something, you know, whatever he had that one year? We can feel the tension in the air. You can feel it in the locker room. Um, Any time a guy of that caliber, um, his role diminishes. Not getting the carries that he normally gets. You feel something's wrong. He's not hurt. Uh, he still can play. You just, you know, it was like a, a oar in the air. Like you just felt something was changing. In 2009, San Diego entered the playoffs 13-3 and winners of 11 in a row. You ain't got the horn no more. You ain't got the horn. Come on. Tomlinson was held to 24 rushing yards, and the Chargers lost once more. As I exited the field, I remember thinking, that's it. One month later, Tomlinson was a free agent. The Chargers released LT, and I was I was shocked, not because of what he was able to do that year or what he could have did for us in the future, but what he had done up until that point, how he changed the culture, how he changed the way people viewed San Diego. You always felt like it was always a spot here for him, no matter what. 
he meant that much to San Diego. But at the same time, I understand the business side of it. It is a business, unfortunately, when it comes to decisions like that. And it was a very, very difficult decision. He truly was the heart and soul of our franchise for all the years that he was here. It was very emotional, and uh, it's, it's a hard thing. Sometimes emotions is what makes a person. And as you guys know, I've always worn all my emotions on my sleeve. So for that, I'm not sorry. And I thank you. Coming up, Tomlinson finds a new home and gets one more shot at a familiar foe. Together, we make hearts pound. Together, we make hope eternal. Together, we make time stand still. But you have to be there. In order to make your stadium game day experience safer and get you to your seats faster, the NFL has enhanced its safety policy. Every member of a family can carry items in the following ways. Anything that fits in your pockets can stay in your pockets. A clear plastic or vinyl tote bag measuring no larger than 12 by 6 by 12 or a clear plastic freezer bag no larger than one gallon. You can also bring in a small clutch bag or small purse approximately the size of an adult's hand. For more detailed information, visit NFL.com slash all clear. After nine star-studded seasons, but another playoff disappointment, the San Diego Chargers deem LaDainian Tomlinson expendable. Like somebody almost questioned his competitiveness, which was an absolute joke. I mean, I knew he could still play. There was no doubt he could still play. This guy's special. There's, there's, I mean, that's the word that comes to mind when you talk about LaDainian. I mean, he is special. Um, the type of person he is, the kind of attitude he has, the, the kind of skills he has. It was probably as much about recruiting his wife as it was him. Five years after her miscarriage, Latorsha Tomlinson was again expecting. The Jets were great at getting me set up with a doctor who knew exactly what, you know, what was going on with me, my history. It didn't hurt that they had this little tiny onesie made that said Tomlinson on the back with a green Jets onesie. Don't make your elephant sounds. Daylin Tomlinson, born July 7, 2010, was quickly embraced by the Jets. Ladanian would have a tougher time. What exactly happened here? I knew you was going to. I knew you was going to. What it do? My name's LT. I got a new dance for y'all. It's real easy to do. All you got to do is glide with it. Oh, here we go. Come on. <laughs> when we saw that video, we had to hammer him. They played this on the bus. They played it on the plane. Look at this guy. He's making rap videos. <laughs> Tomlinson set out to show his new teammates he not only belonged, he was determined to succeed. You've been happy with LT as far as... Oh, uh, I think God. Hey, hey, hey. He's been outstanding. He's a great kid, boy. No, he doesn't have the top-end speed that he once had. I'll tell you what he's going to bring. He's going to bring very positive leadership to this football team. He's got something to prove, boy. Losing Marty and losing his dad, losing our baby, learning to get that thicker, tougher skin after getting so much criticism from fans who love you so much one minute and then quickly hate you so much the next minute. I think that is what created the Ladini and everybody saw once he got to the Jets. I was even shocked to see him letting all that emotion out. You know, we were having a meeting during the season he wanted to come up and speak in front of the group. He read this awesome Vince Lombardi quote. Even reading that passage from Vince Lombardi, his passion was just seeping out of him. 
And it was just dead silence in that meeting room where guys were like, whoa, this guy loves football. From that point on, he became the leader. You know, sure enough, on game day, everybody knew when they came out, they're going to rally around one guy. That's what Danny Tomlinson. Who do we want to be? Y'all want to be champs or y'all want to be jumps? Damn. Don't talk all that. We ain't going to back it up. Play with your heart, play with the passion, and we don't win a damn game. Together. That's how we're going to do this. Together. We came here together. We're going to lead together with a victory. What moves LaDainian Thompson makes on the linebacker? Inside, outside, Olay. He's got a chance to go over a thousand yards in the last game. And I said, well, you know, let's get you that thousand yards. And he goes, you know what, let's just keep me fresh for the playoffs and then I'll be ready to roll. And he was. A 23-yard game by LaDainian Tomlinson. He ran through at least three Indianapolis Colts. Handoff Tomlinson leaps into the pile and he's hit right at the goal line. Next, Tomlinson's nemesis, best record in football, and a team that beat the Jets by 42 points six weeks earlier. Oh, listen to me. Listen to me. They say it can't be done. They say we have no chance. Hey, let me tell you something. Any man can be beat on any day. You hear me? They ain't invincible. Any man can be beat. You got to be willing to die today for it, though, man. You got to be willing to die today. I am. What about you? Yeah, man, what yeah, about you? Go. He wasn't going to be a huge part of the plan. We didn't think going into the game, but he had a different look in his eye. We couldn't keep him off the field. I really felt like it was redemption. All right, LT, let's get him in here, baby. <laughs> Up next, Tomlinson completes his career and learns the most revealing part of his family's story. Of football life is presented by Chase, so you can. Farmers presents 15 seconds of smart. So you want to drive more safely. Stop eating. Take deep breaths. Avoid bad weather. Get eight hours. Turn it down. And of course, talk to farmers. Hi. Hi. We are farmers. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. The day before the 2011 season opener, the Tomlinsons were preparing for the birth of their second child. Doctor says, she's in labor, she's gonna have this baby pretty soon. What? Are you kidding me right now? Me, my mom, my parents, everybody was, Ladine, and you focus on the game, we can pick her up from the hospital. He's like, no one's driving my newborn baby home from the hospital for the first time, except me. And we're like, okay, if that's what you wanna do. I drop to the team meeting, then I drive back to the hospital and drive right back to the game. For New Yorkers, this wasn't just any game night. It was the 10th anniversary of 9-11. Tomlinson helped give New York an uplifting victory. Eight months later, 
he made his first trip back to San Diego to help that city heal after the death of Junior Seau. He was unsure how he was going to be received by the fans at this celebration of life, and there are almost 20,000 people there. When I walked in the stadium, the fans gave me a standing ovation. I quickly remembered that I was home, you know, that this was, you know, my football home, San Diego. What I'd like to do is ask LT to come up to make this official and sign uh, a new contract. And all the hoopla and all the fireworks on the outside about how he left and how it happened and in New York and all of that, I always felt like he was going to end up a retired Charger and still be thought of as he should be, as one of the greatest Chargers ever, one of the greatest running backs ever. Everybody can't win a championship. You really can't. <laughs> I guess he wants to. I was talking to who I consider a father figure, Coach Morty Schottenheimer. He said, LT, there were many days that you had, that your friends had, that your family had, there were championship days. Just because you didn't win the ultimate Super Bowl championship, I know we got many memories that we can call them championship days. It was not that long ago. Your father picked a thousand pounds of cotton a day. A thousand pounds of little fluff balls. Now my grandfather was a Klansman. Wow. It was not that long ago. I do believe that, you know, the only way we can move forward is if we're honest about our past. My, uh, my great great uncle helped your uh, great grandfather build this house on this uh, plot of land. See, I would never know that. I never had a chance to meet my, my grandfather. Your grandfather was a leader in the community. Wow. He was a, uh, a high-ranking mason. He was a deacon in the church. And your uh, great-great-great-grandfather, Milo, he bought land from a white family not far from here in 1875 and owned his own farm. Wow. You know, and that was almost unheard of in that era for a former slave to, to own his own land. The Tomlinsons have a lot to be proud of, both white and black, of what they've done for this community. Spaceless. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Mm, thank you. Mm. You having fun? Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, oh, that's a big turtle. That's a big turtle. It can't hurt you. It's a floater. Get back in. It's amazing now, knowing the story of my family, the past, now having kids of my own, having to tell them the story. You know, my dad and, and my family didn't talk about it a lot. They wanted to move on, and, and I guess they wanted, obviously, a better life for us. To me, the most amazing thing is how far we've come. Yeah. In five generations, we've gone from my family being slaveholders to me spending a career in Africa, and you going from your family being enslaved to being one of the greatest athletes the world's ever seen. I tell you, man, it gives me a, a sense of pride for the name Tomlinson now. Mm -hmm.